sorry, is it 10.25? We have got the next lesson. 10.25, is it? No, because I need to okay. count the time. I'll maybe find some. Sorry, I need to find. Give us some minutes. I, I need to take a break. Sorry. Uh, we'll see you guys on 10.25.
All right, so why is it twenty four? Or somebody will have double our time here. Let me show. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Two of them. I see. Now, it doesn't matter. So, uh, we call your memory about last not uh, yes last time the lesson uh, is on here it's on chapter unit two, 52 isn't it so we stop at this we stop at this just to remember so uh, remember those uh, chemical tests uh, together with observations and what and most importantly is not the uh, memorizing of positive result or negative uh, of a positive result but the deduction of both positive and negative result now this is very important uh, for you to get to know the logical deduction now uh, last time I asked you, I, I uh, asked you guys to check the videos of those. Okay, have you all done that? 24 DMPH, 24 dinotrophinandrazine, silver mirror tests, or Lucas reagent. Have you all got that? Now, if not, I would like to show you here. It's not this one, it's by 24. DMPH. Yes, this is the one. Now, so you may have got uh, quite a lot of this. Take a look, first one. Grammarly can help you write quickly Sorry. and confidently, yeah. so you never have to slow down at oh. work. Instant correct. Do you, do you find that? No, so please watch that. It's easy, right? Just uh, a mixing of the two agents, two four dimensional phenohydrazine and uh, unknown. Now, do you find uh, the PPT, right? What is the color? Yellow PPT, right? Yellow PPT. So this is a very simple steps, a tested experiment. Uh, just a simple dropping of the testing agent and check for the uh, this PPT. Now, indeed, it's not just this. Uh, indeed, if you want to study more, 
about uh, the, the use of this PVC. Now we have got further use, don't you know that? Anyone can tell any further use of this PVT? Anyone who know? Now the, the solar itself, they will uh, remind, uh, they will tell you the presence of carbon in group. What is the second use of this hydrosome PVT? Now search for the web. Anyone who can tell? Saras, do you know? What is the use of those hydrazone? Two, four dinitrophenol hydrazone. What's the use? Do you know anyone who can tell? What is the use of? The two for dinitrogen for twin hydrazine is not by testing the, the, the presence of carbon group, but also the formation of these substances with a their very distinctive melting point. So it will help you identify the chemical nature of this chemical. Do you know that? I said before last time, I said it as a Brady's reagent, B R A D S apostrophe, uh, apostrophe S reagents. Okay, so the hydrazone with that formula, while well, this will help you, uh, it will be because of a very characteristic, can you see the word characteristic for melting point? So they would help you identify the carbon group. Okay. So how would you do such is to, first of all, uh, filter it and purify it not before you do the melting point uh, check, uh, melting point test, okay? And uh, it's say thanks to the uh, structure of the hydrosome because once it react with carbon new compound, it, 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 it is a very, it forms a very big molecule. While well, the big molecule will, of course, you know that it will uh, it increase much of the melting point of the solar. So, uh, you know, to make it more distinctive. Uh, but for the other carbon new group uh, boiling point, while well, it's in liquid state, their boiling point is very close. So it is quite difficult for you to do such identification. It may get you confused with some other chemicals, but for Two for dinitrophenol hydrosome form, it can be used to test uh, its, uh, its identity uh, in this product. Are you to the melting point test? Is that clear? Is that clear? Now, if if you uh, understand what is that, I would like to um, show you another uh, chemical test, a silver mirror test, Tolan's reagent. Okay. Collectively, we call that silver mirror test. Okay, a silver mirror test. Uh, let's check it. Do you, do you hear the, the sound? Increase sales up to 21% by adding another sales channel. I need not enlarge the, the video. Using uh, Tolan's reagent to test for aldehydes. The silver mirror test.
This video demonstrates how to use tolerance reagent to test for aldehydes. So what is the first step? First of all, silver nitrates. This video so first demonstrates the preparation like of tolerance reagent. An alkaline, right? Until it form a diammonia blue sulfur. Two tests will right? then be carried all, out. NaOH and then One shows a positive result, and the other shows a negative result. Preparation of tolerance reagent. Add 2 ml of 0.3 molar silver nitrate solution into a clean test tube. And then add 1 to 2 drops of 0.3 molar sodium hydroxide solution. Now it's by, uh, yes, turning Brownish the precipitate of silver oxide will be formed. It's in form of a brown operation. And a 3 molar aqueous ammonia solution like drop by drop with a dropper. Uh, to add uh, the Until all the silver oxide precipitate uh, is just dissolved. Do not add excess amount of the ammonia solution. solution. The solution the obtained is aqueous diamine silver solution, silver which is also known as tolerance reagent. Add so a small amount of sample to the tolerance reagent. Shake the mixture gently. And then stand it on the bench for 10 minutes. Observe if there is a silver coating formed on the inner surface of the test tube. If there is no observable change, warm the mixture in a warm water bath for 5 minutes. If the sample is an aldehyde, a positive test result will be obtained. If the sample is not an aldehyde, the test will give a negative result. It is important that tons reagent should be freshly, freshly prepared. prepared right? Prior to disposal, the reagent must be acidified immediately after use. The addition of acid prevents the formation of explosive silver nitride. Okay, so this is what uh, you know it about the tolerance reagent test. Okay, is it clear? So uh, for those other common separation techniques, so you may find in uh, 52.7.8, etc. Uh, all those you know it on the site. So okay, while you have the chance of doing experiments, you know it bit by bit. Uh, instead of I tell it uh, directly the answer from here. Okay. So, uh, any questions so far? So that two reactions. Now, so you go to the exercise to get to know more about that. Multiple choice, question two. Question two. Which of the foreign compounds should well, we form a orange PPT with two four dinitropinol hydrogen in bond making? This one. Bon uh, D. D. Why? Uh, ketone. Yeah, Yes, the only one which contains carbonyl group. Okay, that is the reason. Okay, carbonyl group. Uh, there is a reaction between the 24 dinitrophenohydrazine and carbonyl group. But for the others, no carbonyl group. Number three. Magalo. Now they are free tests, right? Free process, X is with warm, acidified, 
A plus solution for that same type of thing. Resulting product are very tricky, huh? Resulting product, and then gives a orange PVT with two four dinitrophen hydrazine, but no observable change in the tolerance region. So what can it be? So what does mean the we mean by resulting product? The resulting product, which means oxidized product, right? Why is it, why do I say that oxidized? Potassium dichromate is an oxidizing agent. Okay, so you back or uh, you deduce it backward to the original reactant. So what is that? Magalo, are you are you here? C. Pentane nail, correct. So compound X can be further oxidized while the its product they will show an orange PVD. So the all that which means that oxidized product it is or uh it is still containing carbon group. Now uh, C is not correct because C uh once it undergo oxidation they will form what and pentane pentane no acid. Once the pentane no acid they would no longer contain carbon group. Now it's rather confusing, isn't it? Right. So you have got one, two, three, four, five, and then this. Can I say that this one is a carbonyl group? No. But we collectively call this. It is another functional group. Okay. It is we call that carboxylic acid. Carboxyl group. So remember, the whole chemical environment will need to take a look on the surrounding as well. So the answer is. B, right? Is it B? Why not D? Now, of course, A is not correct. Uh, because A, uh, they will not form any ketone. How we know that is a ketone? This is carbon new group containing no association tolerance region, which means that it is not an LT high. You have got a carbon new group, but not an LT high. Of course, it must be a ketone. The reduced product, uh, the reactant, right? The reactant, uh, unoxidized form, it is an secondary alcohol. Okay, you get my point. How about D? Butane two bond. Now, of course, one no is a terminal alcohol, it's a primary alcohol. How about this? Two methyl butane two bond. One, two, three, four. Two methyl. So you may find that it is a tertiary alcohol. It, even though first statement cannot undergo, okay, there is no oxidized uh oxidized product uh, because this is a tertiary alcohol. Understand? Question four. Saffron, saffron M. B. Sorry, a boy or dog? I, I cannot hear clearly. Boy. Why? Why you say that is boy? First of all, A was LD high. LD high. So, which chemical test to show is the LD high? Uh, tolerance region. Yes, tolerance region, positive result. Okay, so it is a silver mirror. So which way is the aldehyde? Here, this one aldehyde. Yes, that's right, it's aldehyde. Yes, indeed, what is, what is hidden is H. It's not me found. Uh, so remember, uh, if you write down this, it's aldehyde. But you write down this. Now, for example, huh? if the structure is this, if the structure is this, we will call that a propane norm, right? Now, so be aware uh, of the way to draw the answer, right? And uh, uh, two four nine dihydrophen hydrazine, of course, positive result. So, uh, it's not 
I don't know whether or not it's orange or yellow or red. I don't know. Just a PPT. No. How about aqueous bromine? Why would they decolorize aqueous bromine? Carbon, carbon double bond. Yes, it contains carbon carbon double bond. So the, the, there is an addition reaction. You understand? Now, oh, thank you. How about question five? Oh, no, back it. Question five. So, back it like this. Hmm. Can you elaborate more on the Tolan's reaction, right? Aldehyde. Yes, silver mirror. No silver mirror. How are these? Hydroxy group here inside. Now there is no action on Tolan's reaction. The only difference to check is for the presence of the aldehyde. How about number six? Uh, number six uh, is, is something uh about the chemical process i'll just keep it number nine something wrong a a soluble in water why why is it hot uh the vitamin C does not have a uh, the third one. The third one, he 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 no aldehyde, so it's no reaction. So no silver mirror, silver mirror the uh, observation. Oh, you mean by elimination? Uh, statement three is wrong. So the, the answer yeah. is okay. <laughs> How about one yeah. and two? Why will you find it is correct? And it can form hydrogen bonds with water. Hydrogen, yes, hydrogen bond. Where is hydroxy group? Hydroxy, hydroxy, group. hydroxy group. Oh, okay, etc. So many, right? So it's soluble in water. Number two, this decolorized aqueous bromine rapidly is correct. It's because of what it contains. CC double bond. Yes, yeah, CC double bond here. Okay. Uh, it gives a silver mirror with Tolan's region test is wrong because there is no aldehyde, no aldehyde inside. We cannot find such. So the answer is A. How about number 10? They check. One is correct. Mm -hmm. Number one is red dots. So, of course, you want to talk about the carbon compounds oxidized, the permanganate reduced. So, uh, which means that the PMT, the propene, is oxidized. How about second statement? I think, I think it should be the. It should be what? A D. B. Boy. A, a D dog. The dog. Three all are correct. Agree? All are correct. How about number two? Now I check it one by one, okay? How about number two? Tolan's reagent. What happened to Tolan's reagent? Silver ion may reduce the silver. Used to form silver metal, right? So silver ion undergo reduction. Silver ion undergo reduction. So you go back. How about the LDI? LDI they will form carboxylate ion. Carboxylate ion. So this is a oxidation. So 
you focus on the word osmosis, right? So this is second statement is correct. So they will form COO minus carboxylate is oxidized. How about number three? This one. Yes, it's no uh, reaction precipitation reaction. Yes, it's not a ractose. So how do you know? You check for this uh, item on 2,4-dinitrophenol hydrazine on this equations. For the equations, it seems like the water is just a condensed product. Uh, it seems like a merging of the two chemicals uh, with the water being eliminated. So you see that condensation reaction, addition elimination reaction. So no ractose are formed inside. It's not a ractose. Okay, is that clear? So this is what uh, you know about this. So uh, is it okay to you? Is it okay to you? Yes. Yeah, better. Now take a look on the last question on 12. Now uh, just double check if you understand what is that, what is the meaning? Suggest a chemical test to distinguish one compound from the other, including region use of expected observation. What is the test? Mm -hmm. What do you think about question 12? Uh, A should be sodium hydrogen carbonate. Add sodium, add sodium hydrogen carbonate. Solid? Uh, A equals solution. A equals solution. So remember, you are going to add sodium hydrogen carbonate solution to each of the chemical respectively. So what is our expected observation? Uh, CO2 uh, colors gas bubble. Uh, yes. Uh, yes, it is effervescence for the second case bubble. This one is no color or colorless gas bubbles for. Why? They are of different compounds, not different groups. Uh, this, I don't know this fire embrance or not. Why? Now take a look on this. It is carboxylic acid. But this one, very tricky, isn't it, right? It's an acetal. Can you see that it's not an acid? HCOO is an acetal. E found me anyway, okay? On the left hand side. Well, for the right hand side, it is one, two, three, four, and one exit. Cover B. And that him. Yes. Uh, should be. I'm saying, oh, I did. Now, first of all, identify the functional group. Left hand side, what is the functional group? C, C, O, come on, methyl, 6, 3. It's a methyl ketone, yes, that's right. So it's a ketone. It's a ketone, ketone. How about the one on the right hand side? Uh... Well, it's also LD high. It's LD high. It's an LD high. Okay, it's an LD high. So, LD high and ketone, how will you distinguish? Um, red dots. No, no, no. Yep. Red dots, yeah. Red so dots. Just a suitable reagent. Uh, adding a O, O A, what is? They need to go undergo a reduction. 
is our our A O O L. Oh my god. Q two C O O Q 二 C O 二 O 七。呢个？是不是？Left-hand they will not undergo further oxidation, so the orange solution remains. Okay. Of course, there are so many other chemical tests. Uh, you may think of Tolan's reagent, right? So if you want to answer using Tolan's reagent, you do the same thing that just by adding Tolan's reagent together with warming. Okay. That there is another, that these two, they are not the same, huh? I don't want to confuse you, right? Besides using K2 cell 7, besides using this, besides using this, you may also use Tolan's reagent. So you may also add Tolan's reagent, as opposed to it. reagent. Plus warming. Okay, so two cases, no silver mirror. On the left hand side, while for the right hand side, we have got silver mirror. The silver mirror happens on the inner surface of a container. So if you use test tube or boiling tube, there is an inner layer right, of the container. Do you understand? Uh, of course, you may find more on the web. Uh, if you study more about the past paper, you may heard of iodo form tags, right, in A level. Uh, it's out of the syllabus, but uh, if you want to uh, write it, uh, whenever uh, you write iodo form text, it is used as an iodine, dissolved in NOH to check for the white, uh, yellow PVT. So yellow PVT is found on the left hand side, but for the right hand side, no observable change. Indeed, if you use our form test, uh, it is used for to test for the presence of methyl ketone. Very strange, isn't it? Methyl ketone uh, or the secondary alcohol ethyl group. So uh, it's also possible. Uh, how about DSC? Even though it's OC, it's also acceptable. Uh, to write such as long as you what you write it is correct, but it's fair enough if you use uh acidified dichromic solution or use tolerance reagent, and you it is enough for you to distinguish which is which. Any questions so far? Do you feel happy about the whole uh, procedures about this? The uh, chemical test. Uh, lastly, take a look on that one mark question. Uh, you may find uh, these two uh, quite difficult, right? Because I just introduced to you the two chemicals. One is Stolen's region, one is 24 dinitrophen hydrazine, right? So, question 14 and 15, please circle it. What is the spectra observation? While you warm the uh, propane nail with tolerance reagent, you see that as opposed to the R. Last time I just say silver mirror, right? How 
how about the structure of organic product form or organic product? So what with the phase of that organic product? Hoping nail, it will form it as what? Propanoic acid. Propanoic acid, acid, but uh, I, I put it into the alkaline medium. So the answer is propanoate. It's propanoate, not propanoic acid, uh, because uh, the tolerance region is alkaline. That's we call your membrane about the making of tolerance region. I add sodium hydroxide solution and then I add ammonia to form I dye ammonic sulfur, uh, ammonic sulfur one ion. So there is alkaline medium. How about 15? I don't know, I got a positive ion. Positive ion, good question. Where will you get it? Positive ion, what is that? I'm an NA. Sodium ion, is it? Sodium ion, that it depends on the alkaline uh, atom. If you add it as sodium hydroxide, it is sodium. It's sodium ion. If I add uh, sodium hydroxide at the very beginning. Now, this is a common bench alkaline to be used, uh, besides uh, uh, ammonia. Okay, 15. 15. If the structure is this, can you trace back the organic product of this? Just one mark and you can, uh, and, and that's it. Just draw the molecular formula. Okay, just draw the structural formula of uh, C9H2O. Just draw the molecular structural formula of C9H2O and that's it. What is that? Do you please trace it? What's that? Now this is C N double bond, very strange structure, isn't it? The whole thing. What is that? That is two four dine nitro phenol hydra song. Okay, you find that. So to our understanding, it comes to our concern of how to uh, uh, know the equations. If you know the how to write down the equations, of course you know how to split that into half. So indeed, that is that is the half part. You split it. So what is the structure? That is the LD. The LD high react with the two four dinitro free now hydrazine. Originally hydrazine is this. Okay, NH2, NH2 here. So what is eliminated? I draw three more atoms here. What is that? 2H, 1O. Do you realize? So how will you draw the equations? Are you trace back to the previous pages on 2,4-dinitrophenol hydrazine? Where is it? Please locate for me for, uh, for the page. This is the one. Can you see that? It seems like the reaction between these O and H2, you take away the H2O and you merge the C double bond this time to M. Can you see it clearly? Okay, is that clear? So the CN, they will form a double bond. We call that hydrazone the whole thing. 
So the chemical we call that ethanol uh, 24 dinitrophenol hydrazone. So uh, which means that if you are asked to name the product form, uh, you're going to uh, give the original chemical name uh, and together uh, we're merging with 24 dinitrophenol hydrazine. I changed the word from hydrazine to hydrazone. And that is the answer. Now try one more. This. Could you please draw me the structure of W? The W reacts with 24-nitrophenol hydrazine to form a yellow solar C. So what is the original chemical? Just like last time, right? Hydrazone. I split that. And then, what's next? You add H, H, and then whole thing finish, and you put it at O here. So you can split the chemical into two parts. This is the chemical. This is another chemical. It is the 2,4-dinitrophenol hydrazine on the right-hand side, while for the original product, organic product, it is what? Phenol, what? How do you call it? It's phenol, ethanol. Is that clear? It's phenol, ethanol. Any questions so far? Now, for those who understand what I've just said, would you please put a tag? If not, uh, put a cross. You think that you are, you think you can manage? Please put a tag. If not, a cross. I try to see uh, what, what should be done next. How about the others? What find you difficult? Now, could you please uh, type it on the chat box? Tell me what find it difficult to you so far. I found some of you just write down across the phone here. What research on about name is another thing. Basically, it's a long time ago. I'll just go back to the first term of form five. I won't teach here. What else? No, just this naming. How about the other? How about the others? What well, find it difficult to you? Now, which means that you will, uh, you need to have an have an recite the equation. Or oh, this another issue. There's no need to no need to find it on Zoom, isn't it? Right. What else? Can you solve it by your own? For the two concerns raised by the students, can you solve it by your own? Anything about understanding of the concepts? No, if not. Do you know? If not, I would like to uh, uh, go back to book three uh, B. Okay? I would like to go back to book three B. This time it is not 31 uh, because we just finished. While you go to Chapter 32. Can you see that? Locate okay, the pay uh, the, the, the source of getting this. Wow. And other thing, uh, before you end up the lecture today, is by, uh, yeah. I'll tell me how many minutes do I have. I'll uh, just see how far we can go. 11.35 is it.
is 11.31. 20 minutes. Uh, I'm sure you can solve it in 20 minutes. Uh, I, I would not cover them all, but tell you the principle, the principle of doing such uh, by figuring out this uh, chemical changes by synthesis of carbon compounds. So you are going to plan a synthetic route. Okay. Uh, usually in your DSC, uh, you'll be asked to figure out two step or three step synthesis using the map. Okay, so uh, we come to our concern to the air. We call your memory about this map. Very similar. Now, among this map, tell me which route uh, should be used cautiously when you think of the synthetic route. This is the one. You never, uh, you, you better. Um, avoid uh, or, or you better prevent you yourself from using this because uh, this one it will usually produce low yield it usually produces low yield so you, you better not use it um, if and behind you tend to rely on some other synthetic routes you know to get the, the pro the uh, to get the product that you want. But of course, in practical sense, it will give you another viewpoint. Huh? This is the cheat. The more step that we are having, the, the lower yield that it can be. Why do I say so? For example, if you have got one step synthesis with 90% yield, how about three step synthesis? Each of them is 90% yield. For example, I get it like this, right? 90% times 90% times 90%. It's just 70%, 70 something percent, right? Very, very uh, low yield. Now, even though I mark this as 90, but here comes three step synthesis. Uh, it will greatly reduce the yield of the product. So that's why uh, whenever you talk about synthetic roots, uh, in chemistry point, we usually deal with uh, the least step to produce the most uh, compound. Of course, if you think of the synthetic root just like a uh, V radical substitution, which it will give you a mixture of organic product um, that is rather problematic and you need to be highly aware that avoid from, uh, please avoid using it. Okay, please avoid using it. Questions, okay. So we start from this two-step synthesis and you go to three-step synthesis later on. Now, if you think of this, designing two-step synthesis, uh, very often what you need to do is to think of, um, is to draw the structure of reactant and product and think of in between, of course, and try to, uh, there is one point, uh, you are going to think of the compound which is common between these two lists of compounds. So, which means that if you refer to the MTL map, Okay, if you refer to MTR map, try to think of the bridging point in between. Now that is uh, a, a very basic requirement uh, of doing the two step synthesis. But of course, in reality, uh, there is one point, there's one way to solve the problem. Uh, the other way of solving problem is to think of the uh, design of that work. Uh, for example, uh, if you think of from carbon bands over exit to phenol, uh, uh, to a phenol methyl bromide, so you may find the bromo, right? Bromo methane, phenol bromo methane, or bromo methyl bromate, uh, bromo methyl benzene. Um, you may have the two possible route. One is uh, benzo acid go to the alcohol and then CC double bond and go back to CH two br, uh, br, or you may think of some other route, right? Which one is the common point that you are going to search for common point? And then later on, you are going to choose this one. Okay, you may find that this one is a common, common point in which for the exit, you can go to CH2OH 
and uh, if you have got CH2OH, you can go to CH2Br so easily from each step. What you're going to do is to link the two, is to link the two. So this one is just in between. And what you're going to do is to think of the type of reaction. The first one, carboxyl group to uh, primary alcohol is a reduction. So this is the reducing agent to be used. For the second one is a uh, hydroxy group turned to BR. It is a substitution reaction. So you may use, uh, this time I change a little bit. I would use corn. I will train you guys to use corn HBR instead. Okay, to produce this because corn HBR is in aqueous solution, while HBR is a gas, is quite difficult to handle. And by doing so, you can get the two step synthesis. Is that clear? Your turn. Can you think of the two step synthetic routes to accomplish each of the following? Conversions during you write such you write out the equations, uh, reagents, reaction conditions, and the structure of organic product. Now remember that arrow is it an equation? No, it's just a synthetic root. So no need to balance. No need to balance because it's not an equation. It's just a root. While the core part, the main character to be considered, is the organic compound. Is that clear? How about A, B, and C? Now I'll give you some time to do this. A. We have no choice, Mr. Chin. Take a look on the first one. I have no choice, right? So for the first step, I need to write a very low yield, synthetic bridge. If you are thinking of two step only, isn't it? While well, for the second one, uh, while well, the product you're looking for, what is that? It is an ethanol. So what is the difference between these two? Is that it seems like I changed that H um, uh, to form a wedge. But of course, removal of H is different. In the, if you think of first step, uh, because hydrogen, if I remove it and I add hydroxide ion to it to form this, so we, which means that I would like to leave the higher atom as hydro ion, it's quite difficult, right? So, what should be done is to think of the common point, right? On which the reactant go to the next stage while the uh, product can come to the uh, stage before. What is that? What can it be? Is CH3, CH2, BR, for example? Can you think of this? Now, if that is the case, if that is the case, if you can, uh, you you can write down the answer. Now, oh, what is the answer? Limiting the Br two gel under UV light. Yeah, the first step is to uh, do the free radical substitution. Okay, it's a free radical substitution, and then. So what is the chemical region? Limiting, bromine, UV light. Now, this is what you can do finally. Now we cannot, uh, there's some work we cannot control. And then what's next? What's next? Any OH heat under UV plus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So NaOH heating under UV plus. So this one it is limited, limiting or BR2, it's followed by UV light. Okay. So we by doing so, we can have the two synthetic roots if we be placing on this arrow, right? You cannot have one step to do so. Instead, we go to two steps. Do you understand? How about B? We cannot do the step, but we are going to add one more step in between. Now, now this, I can go to this. 
think of uh, what can I be in between? CH two CH two CH one. CH. Yes, carbon carbon double bond LDH. Yes, carbon carbon double bond LDH. Finally, no carbon carbon double all those single bond and together with a carboxyl group. Yes, hi, John. Yes, 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 as a catalyst and uh, with high temperature, yes, high temperature, because you are going to use nickel. It's high temperature. Uh, if you step back to the map, it's 150 degrees Celsius, but of course you cannot uh, memorize it so clearly, uh, just simply write it as heat. What will happen to the product? We'll put it free now. And then CH2, now that is a very special point. Now somebody would be thinking, uh, how can we change the, the two functional group at the same time that that is the reagent? Hydrogen, hydrogenation. It's not just tackling the CC double bond, but also the LDH. So once I change it to this phenyl propane one node, uh, you can go back to the phenyl propane exit. How? That's the second step. How to write down the second step? What is the condition? Excitified K2Cr207. What is the condition? Heat and the reflux. Yes, heat and the reflux again. Now, that is very important. That's very important. If you write down simple distillation, the product is not this. The product will become an aldehyde. Okay, so merely, which means that merely by writing heating, I do not know whether or not they will go to the aldehyde of the, uh, or the acid. You have to tell me. Uh, you're going to heat it under reflux in order to produce most amount. I want to increase the yield of the production of carboxylic acid. How about the last one? Now, first of all, spot for me the the. Wow, what a strange, isn't it, Mr. Chin? You take a look, it's not just the difference in the functional group, but also the number of carbon, okay, do you realize? One, two, three, one, two. But wait a minute, how, ca how can I chop that carbon? Don't worry, huh? because you ha have got the structure, it is an ester. Ester can be, ester linkage can be broken. Now, Oh. Go back, go back well. High ester can, ester linkage may broken. With what is the type of reaction? Only one risk, what is that? Hydrosis. Yes, hydrosis. Which type of hydrosis are you looking for? If it is ex exit hydrosis, the chemical to be used is what? Hydrogen ion, dilute exit, right? For example, dilute H2SO4. Now, usually you use this. You usually do use this. And then heat. By doing so, you can have CH3COOH, of course, with an other chemical, CH3OH. But this is not our, is not our concern. I try to remove it later. But once from these, go back to this, I know the procedure. What is the second step? Aluminium hydride in dry effect. And then, hmm, this is a reduction. Do you still remember? It's a reduction. So you would have lithium aluminium hydride dry effect H3O. Is that clear? Can I use NABH4? No. Why not? I can't just it. Yeah, reducing power is not high enough. Okay? You cannot reduce carboxylase back to alcohol using a weaker reducing agent. It's rather weak to them. 
Do you understand? Do you understand? Now we come to more complicated roots. Uh, how many times left? In five minutes, right? Now, why do I stop it here? It's because, uh, which means that Mr. Chin will give you more time <laughs> to do it by yourself at home. What is mean by more complicated? Of course, it refers to the, to the point more steps. So what will happen if I've got one, two, three, three steps? We have got four step sentences. Now, usually you will just stop at four. I know the two, five, six, six, seven step because uh, it produces much lower yield, as I said before, right? The more steps that you're going to have, the much lower yield it may produce. Now, take a look on that too. Ooh, crazy. How, you, how will you get approach to the problem? It's not just thinking of the common point, right? That if you have got two step sentences, it's easy. Uh, you, you, check the, you check the map and you think of the reactor what's the next step. Uh, you think of the product, you think of the para step and you find which chemical is common and you can bridge the two. How about more than three, more, three, four, three, four, three, four, five steps? How can you think of the whole approach? First of all, of course, you, you, you may think that you need to memorize the MTR out map clearly, but uh, that is the first part. The more, most important part is that you should know a sense of uh, rectal synthesis. Have you ever heard of this term? What does it mean by retro? What does it mean by retro? Synthesis, which means the making of, right? Retro, which means thinking backward. Okay, go backward. Retro synthesis is a term. Indeed, we are not going to hold do the whole thing in reverse, but it is new, it's a concept which helps you to think it in reverse. Okay, you have to think it the step before, step before, step before, before you come up with that uh, answer. Now, A part is a uh, past paper type question. A part. So it is in past paper 214, uh, which tells you the steps we are having. So the final step, it is uh, one, two, three, four, butane non. Okay, while for the first step, it's from be one yin, be one yin to butane non. How many steps do they have? Now, I found it is it's on three steps. It's a three step synthesis. How would you solve that? Three step synthesis. You're not, you cannot think of only one step to get a the problem. You think of three steps. Uh, three step, which means one, two arrow, three steps, or uh, three arrows, okay? We have to think of one more. Like this, okay? You have to think of the retro synthesis, which means think of the precursor of this. Precursor. Precursor, which means the chemical before this. What can it be? You think of oxidation, right? Somebody will think of it as oxidation, right? If you think of it as oxidation, what is that? CH3, CH2, and then CH, OH, and then CH3. I type of what alcohol? A secondary alcohol. Do you find it? It, 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 do you find it easier? Now, it's time to think of the precursor of this. The precursor of this precursor. Think of one step before. What can it be? be no, um, try to think of the bridging point between uh, the reactant and the intermediate, the second intermediate. Yes, that's the right. Okay, no, no. Hmm? What can it be? 
Can you think of hay right? Can you get my point? Can you think of hay right? Yes, it seems that that route seems possible, right? It's now substitution, rectos, and this one is his addition. Okay. So how can you do such? Is to write down the chemicals. Is to write down the chemicals. How? The first one, what is that? HBR and then can you write down the other? Can you write down the other steps? Yes, this is first one is HBR. According to mechanical theory, it, it, it is okay because the hydrogen is added to here, bromine. Is, is added to here to form a major product. So you are going to produce it as a major product. Okay, how about second step? You're going to remove the BR and re uh, by, replace it by hydroxy group. So the, uh, the second answer is NaOH, AQ, heating under reflux. The first step, oxidation. It's a clue, right? So you what you what would you suggest? X certified K2CR207 heating under reflux. Is that clear? So the retro synthesis that concept would be something like this. How about the last one, EPA? Can you think of the possible route? How many steps? I can give you a hint, uh, three steps, is it not? Three steps. Three steps. Three steps. So again, think of the precursor of having this halo, uh, halide. Usually, halide can go to hydroxy, while the hydroxy can go also go back to halide. Hmm. Easier, isn't it? Right. Once I write down this, I can I can relate to this. Do you understand? Why? Why do I know, know such, right? Because this two, I know the bridging point being what? It is a substitution reaction. Okay, it's a substitution reaction. Why for this? What is that reaction? Reduction. Um, yes, it's a reduction. So I can easily guess it. It's a type of reduction. While for the final one, so what can it be? Hydrolysis. Yes, it seems like a hydrolysis. So what can I do is to write down those uh, important steps in between. So for example, the first one, uh, you are going to have a H, H2SO4AQ together with heat to form an acid and acid go back to L, uh, alcohol, how? Is by changing to, what is the next step? Okay, L-I-A-L-H-4, dry E dot. Number two, H3O plus, followed by the last step, it is corn HBR. So you may get what you want. Or you use the word HBR heating at the reflux, HBR gas, this is also okay. Do you understand? Do you understand whole flow? 
So we call this step rental services. What are the income month is that I try to uh, start from the re uh, product this time and uh, think it back work. Okay, now just like uh, that concept, you should know it beforehand. Okay, retro synthesis, you know this. How? When you will know it? Of course, you know it. Form 5, medicine. So what is the step? You cannot have just one step. How? Form 6, TSE plus Jupus, and go back to here. But of course, once you think of this, if you want to think of Hong Kong Humanity, you think of this. Uh, you are going to get to know how many masks do we have. Okay? And then if you, if you find the Jupus, you ask for DSE, you are thinking of how you get prepared for form sex. Okay? If you think of the form sex, right? How well you can perform form sex based on how well you perform in form five. So this is what you know about the concepts of the retro synthesis. Do you understand? Now uh, it's a very important technique will help you think it backward. Any questions so far? What do you know about today's, what do you feel about today's work? Any difficult part? Answer, answer. Yes. We run to my dog, you essay type question. Essay type question? No. Procedures, no. It's not an essay type question it, it, because you just write it as synthetic roots. Okay, synthetic roots, which means you are going to show the whole um, uh, just give me the outline. So it's not an essay. But of course, if I change it to essay type question, the, the question word is different. How will you write the question word? If I just can see the outline is effect roots. So if I write so, uh, you will see the arrow underneath, which means that you're going to draw this. It's not essay type question. But of course, but uh, you will write down a, um, something to like describe how you need to write down paragraph length answer. ดีเอสเอ็มเอฟฟานี่ก็ได้ครับเสร็จดีกว่าก็จะตอบตอบแล้วโอเคคําสั่งเสร็จใช้ทักกับเรื่องนะน้องนี้น้องนี้ขอท